Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie. This is Eddie. That's Lemon Pest on the left. Need to make and sure those files are backed up. That's great. Today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we ended up here at the clinic, searching for the Rothersite shipment that was sent to somebody called Kendrick Lane. So let's get into it. Ah, yes, yes. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping Whatever before do, we begin. Don't unplug anything. You I, do, um, I'll make sure you wind up in one of these hospital beds. Shut up. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Sort of. I, uh, unfortunately, probably sound a little bit rough because I have COVID. So I've spent much of my weekend in bed, not feeling great. But I think I'm over the worst of it now, thankfully. Well, let's get in here anyway. This area's off limits. Authorized personnel only. Well, I'm part of a confidential medical task force. I'm here to investigate an outbreak. An outbreak? Yep. I haven't heard anything about this. Well, it's confidential. We don't want to start a panic, so I need you to keep your mouth shut. Uh, understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. Thank you. The doctor is in. Bam. Sean, I nope. don't want to go over this again. I'm tired, all right? Just not today. Ooh. You can't be okay with this, though, right? You took an oath, and I'd say this is a firm violation. Look, Nobody saw anything. Got that shipment. Although, who knows what Faye expects me to do with it. But maybe approvals really are on the way. Now please, get back to Kai. Make sure his vitals are stable. I don't want to lose him. We'll figure this out. I promise. <sighs> Fine. But if we lose Kai, that's it. I'm going to SSNN. I don't give a shit about my career anymore. Oh. <sighs> you and me both. Interesting. Chunk ch Why would you leave chicken on a hospital bed? That's a little... little weird. Okay. If you feel sick, please report to the med staff immediately. Remember, no visitors without checking in first. Well. Oh. We better get that approval soon. Really? Kendrick Lane, just the mum. Excuse me, but this is a restricted area. You need to leave. Do I? I'm here for a mandatory security update. I need to run an update on your computer. Uh, your timing could be better. A little warning next time. I'll just take a moment to check up on my patient. You do that. <sighs> is that my rothocyte? It is. Well, get out. I'm taking that. So what's this? Project Dominion. Introduction. Here we go. Dr. Kendrick Lane, welcome to the Infinity LTD Fold. We hope you'll find the breakthrough research we need to perfect Project Dominion. Came highly recommended by Faye Sengsavan, our Head of Research and Development, so we're very excited to have you with us. I understand your concerns on these human trials being unauthorised, but I assure you, this is just a minor hiccup. I've been told we're only a few days away from approval and we'll get those documents to you as soon as possible. Please remember that all subjects have signed waivers, accepting the risks. I hope this will ease any hesitation you may have. The end will justify the means. Lucas Drexler, CEO, Infinity LTD. Hmm. Research targets. Project Dominion requires a compatible alloy that the human brain will not reject when the internal neuron is surgically implanted. Goal 1. Find the correct alloy ratio. A series of metals have been provided for a wide range of experimentation. We're currently looking into obtaining a rare metal to be delivered at a later date. Goal 2. Ensure the effectiveness of the internal neuroamp. Once implementation is successful, ensure the neuroamp can be used effectively. No side effects should be detected for either the user or the target. Goal 3. Minimise casualties. Infinity LTD understands that severe injuries and even fatalities may be encountered. Do not let issues hinder research progress. Notify your contact and we'll take care of it. Hmm. Curious. Subject logs. A8. Hmm. 
Osmia Leinhardt, 22, deceased, oh no, version implanted, version 3, experimental alloy, titanium grade 120. Notes. Initial procedure appeared successful, but signs of edema began approximately an hour after the surgery. Initial attempts to stabilise through the med pod failed and condition worsened rapidly. We began surgery prep, but A08 experienced complete brain failure before we could operate. Oh dear. Subject A09, Jacinda Carradine, 25, deceased. Version implanted 3.3. Experimental alloy, titanium grade 125. Notes. Procedure was a success and all vitals were normal for the first day. Rejection of the implant started approximately 37 hours after surgery. I believe AO9 inadvertently used the neuron on a staff member who reported severe dizziness. Emergency surgery was performed to remove the neuroamp, but experienced brain death shortly after removal. Subject A10. Kai Porter, 23 coma. Version implanted version 3.5, experimental alloy titanium grade 128. Notes. Initial procedure was successful. Patient reported no changes for the first four days. Brain waves were normal. Cognition tests were 100% across the board. Testing the neuroamp on day 5 appeared to bring on severe headaches with eventual brain hemorrhaging. Neuroamp was removed to prevent death but patient is currently in a coma. Hmm. So it's not going well. Personal logs. A new start. Today marks the start of a new adventure in neuroscience. Although Infinity LTD is still waiting for official approval, we're moving forward with testing their latest technology. An internal neuroamp. I can't tell you how excited I am to be on a new project and have the chance to regain some admiration among my colleagues. I've invited Sean to come work with me on the project since he's familiar with how I operate. Plus, like myself, I knew he could really use the credits. These procedures should be quick and simple, so it's really a matter of Infinity LTD's tech playing nicely with brain tissue. Dr. Fei Seng Savan is the creator of this new neuroamp, and she's assured me smooth sailing. Let's just hope with our combined expertise we find success. This could be the boost my career needs. My first loss. We lost our first subject today, A01, Bronwyn Major. The procedure went well, but I believe the neuroamp overheated, burning the portions of the brain where it had contact. I sent the results to Faye. She believes she has a solution, but my god, I've never lost a patient before. I sent everyone home. Sean wanted to stay, but I told him to go. I know he needed to process what happened too, and I didn't want to hold him back. I tell myself it was the neuroamp, that it wasn't my fault. But if it feels like an excuse, it must be. And what will happen now? These trials aren't even approved, and I've already had a death on my hands. I thought I was signing up for new advancements in neuroscience, but if I'm not careful, this could ruin what I have left of my career. Moral struggles. It's hard to believe I once walked into the clinic with high hopes of what Sean and I would bring about. The concept of the internal neuroamp from Faye and promises of fame and fortune provided all the motivation I needed. It blinded me. I never should have agreed to start the trials without proper approvals. I never should have dragged Sean into this. I see now why it was always such a struggle to get my own approvals for human trials. I also see why the contracts are so complex. I never thought I'd lose a patient on my watch, and here I've lost more than I wish to say. Infinity's legal team have assured me that the contracts the subjects signed to keep us clear from any legal repercussions, but since the trial itself is still unapproved, I have a feeling they have little to stand on. But somehow the hopefulness remains. After the initial losses, I told myself no more. But Faye would insist her changes to the prototype were solid, that it should be the last one. I'd find myself with renewed motivation and confidence, only to find another dead at my hands. We have three subjects left. They aren't aware of the fate of their predecessors. Faye has informed me her latest prototype is complete and on its way. I can only hope to make the right decision. Another failure. Kai's results were initially so promising, but now the poor kid is in a coma. I thought surely he would be the light at the end of this grisly tunnel. We've now gone through our entire list of subjects, and I dread the idea that Infinity will just sign up more. What is going on over there? Has Faye completely lost her mind? I understand when corporations rush, rush things when it comes to household products or maybe office software, but not so much that will endanger the lives of others. This internal neuroamp may as well be a murder weapon and I'm the one with blood on my hands. 
Contracts aside, I'm certain this will end in ruin. Yes, sure it will. Okay, carton of milk on the desk, that's a little... Ooh! Take those. Got anything else in here? Anything else useful? No. Alright. Well? Doctor? Anything to say for yourself? This damn contract will be the death of me. Mm, it's been the death of many, sir. The death of many indeed. What? What? Taking that. Okay. Anything else? Where is? I never should have taken Sean. this job. Well. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. I have an experience with coma patients. If you tell me what's happened, maybe I can help. Fine. I'll tell you. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several volunteers. Mm. So far, only one patient has survived. Well... If you have one survivor, your project was not ready for testing. You're telling me? When Infinity hired us, they said human trial authorization was already underway and we'd have the approvals in a matter of days. The days went by and nothing. Every time we'd ask, it was always just days away, but we kept working. Between the money and potential success, it was easy to tell ourselves that they'd come through. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? Infinity's got you doing the dirty work and they're getting away with it. <sighs> it's moments like these when I think I just need to hear someone say it out loud. Mm -hmm. Sean spoke the truth. We thought the approval would arrive any day, so we continued with the project. Instead of stopping? By the time we started to catch on, it was already too late. We were too immersed in the lie. Corporations can't be trusted. Congrats on learning the hard way. Infinity is the one that should take the blame. We're victims here as well. No, really? he's right, Ken. It's what you and I both deserve after going along with this mess. Yeah. How long have we talked about walking away or refusing to work? We oversaw the death of nine people here, and it may as well be ten. Mm. Infinity may have lied to us, but they also paid us well enough that we did nothing. Exactly. You'd let some stranger like this just ruin our careers? Yes. And you're going to let them too. Go ahead. Get whatever information you need to take this place and Infinity down. I'll make sure Dr. Lane remains cooperative. Mm. If only we had a little more time. Well, you took the money, didn't you? You could have stopped at any point. Day one, day two, day three, day four. Could have stopped. Chose not to. And now, nine people are dead. Absolutely diabolical. Anything else in here? Okay. Well, what more can you say? What more can you say? Anything good in here? No. Alright, Lemon Pest, come on. Let's get out. Leave this den of iniquity. Ugh. If you need anything else, just let me know. Anything? Hmm. There's nothing I want. Let's get out. And so, the conquering hero returns. Hello! Just hand Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. I always get the job done. So I've heard. Now, I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? Well, hmm. Ecliptic was there to roll out the red carpet for me when I landed. They were very welcoming. I knew something bad had happened. Were there any survivors? Uh, none, but yeah, I made sure Ecliptic paid in blood, so... It is what it is. Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. 
especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? I did. I found records that Ecliptic had rerouted the shipment to the clinic for a Dr. Kendrick Lane. Dr. Lane? Hmm. I believe Vina is familiar with his work, specializing in neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. Were you able to determine what he was doing at the clinic? Infinity is performing illegal human trials to perfect their neuroamp. So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Good. Between hiring ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Well... It is. It's time to take them down once and for all. But their research is dead in the war without that Rothesite anyway. Exactly. Without the Rothesite, their research comes to a halt. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the mole's identity. Oh. I've called a meeting and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. Well, all right. She has snacks. Ah, it's only ramen. Look, okay. I've got my eye on you. As I ran past you then as well? Were you checking out the uh, the rear view? Is that what it's all about, son? Well, I don't blame you. Ain't nothing wrong with my booty. Dalton! Where are you, beautiful bald man? There he is. Good. You're right on time. Always, always. I re-evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. The shock upon my face. So, yeah, she's a traitor and she's going to pay for it. Indeed. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. Um... Yeah, I'd want solid proof, so no one can question it then. The people we're dealing with will expect nothing less. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Hmm. And what if there's nothing incriminating on it? Then we'll have to find another way to build a case against Ularu. And it won't be easy. No. I mean, she has fooled you once before. What makes you think you can find something now? If I can't find hidden code on a single slate, I certainly deserve to be fired. Mm. Ularu is limited in what she can hide here. Plus, she'll have no reason to believe anyone will be looking in the first place. Well, all right. Whatever program Ulara gives me, you'll get it. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I have no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Mm. Now, let's attend a meeting. Yes, let's, shall we? Hmm. Shame, you know. Ularu had that whole powerful woman dynamic going on. I, 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 I kind of like that. But, well, never mind. Uh, Lemon Pest, just hang about. Go and get us a coffee or something, will you?
We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Um... Yep, she confessed to working for Infinity LTD. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. Ooh. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget, the mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Jeez, claws out, defo. I mean, quit trying to blame each other. The betrayal is a classic symptom of corporate culture, for crying out loud. I'd even go beyond symptom and call it a trait. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. Yep. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal neuroamp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. And let's not forget that Infinity hired mercenaries that killed all personnel at CM Station RC1. Botched human trials and murder for hire? Yep. You don't bounce back from that. Nope. At least not with Infinity's legal team. Ooh. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Asako, Ooh. the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send out the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. Um. Oh, I'm ready. It's everyone else who isn't. Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. No problem. Come on, Lemon Pest. Let's go get ourselves a neuroamp. And here I am, the perfect specimen for such a trial. Good lord. Please stand back. This unit is on patrol. Very good. Here she is, Vina. Double check those Warning. measurements are right. This unit is not always makes suited for addressing. Concerns. I've already checked them four what are you times. trying to say? Okay. Hey there. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Well, yeah, just, just don't fry my brain, because, I mean, it's a great brain. You know? Oh, don't worry. That's not on the agenda. Good. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? Well, check them again. You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Hmm. Yeah, because joking around right before surgery is always, you know, reassuring to a patient, isn't it? Eh, you're gonna be fine. All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. I bloody hope so. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. You appear dehydrated. I suggest the immediate ingestion of a 
moderate quantity of water. I mean, I can do that. I can certainly do that. I have some sparkling water. There you go. Fully hydrated. Please be careful with my brain. All right, let's get this party started. All right. Well, well, look who's finally up. Mm. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. Well, I can see and I can hear, so that's something. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Always good to see the thick boy. So, how are you feeling? You look good? Oh, always, always. I didn't need your surgery to tell me that. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping for some, like, cool bionic modifications. Yep. That's me every morning. But the whole point of this is no visual indication and no adverse side effects. So, sounds like we're on track. Okay. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. Alright. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Hmm... There goes my plans for a lifelong minion. Although I do kind of have one, don't I? In Lemon Pest. And he does have the right colour hair as well. Now that's something to talk to the drone engineers about. Ooh! Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. Uh, um, I mean... I figured he'd already know how it feels. He knows what the external ones are like. But he hasn't had the chance to play guinea pig with this one yet. Oh. He's ready and waiting in the test chamber for whenever you're ready to give that neuroamp a whirl. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. All right. Yeah, I don't need your surgery. I am not permitted to perform medical practices without human oversight. Well, that's good. I don't need your surgery, madam, to tell me I'm glorious. Ooh. Better, better, better not steal from, from, from these folks. Okay, come on, Lemon Pest. So up here. Press F to open your scanner and target the person you want to manipulate. Press E to bring up your social skills and select manipulation. Once a person has been manipulated, select the object or person you want them to interact with. No problem. It is. All right. Grab that. Then I want you to go over here. What? <laughs> and the Dickens is going on here. So word is, you're an executive you now go. at Ryujin? Oh, that's so cool! Making deals by day, hunting monsters at night. Oh, what a life! Indeed, Lemon Pest. Come on then, Demarcus, let's, let's, let's have you out. <coughs> of there. If Vina offers you a job as a lab rat, you don't want it. Take it from Oh my me. god, that was incredible! What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! 
I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. <laughs> I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. Well, all right. Um, Vina? So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Um... It was way too easy. And it's my new favorite toy. I'll take that as a no on the side effects. And that toy you love so much is very powerful. So use it wisely. Yeah, toy is hardly the word I'd use to describe it. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. Hmm. Um... You didn't feel violated or anything? Hmm. Not at all. But I can imagine if I experienced disorientation like that, but regained my awareness in another room. It could be a bit jarring. We'll definitely be running some more tests in the future, though. So many situations to account for. Does open up a lot of possibilities, that's true. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, <coughs> the neuro amp isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Mm. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Of course she wants to see me. I'm on my twelfth iteration of this design. I mean... I have a good feeling about this. Who wouldn't want to see me? Good lord. <sighs> Lemon pest. Oh, you're there. Oh. Oh, somebody been drinking on the job in here. All right, relax. Was it you? This experiment can't go worse than the last one. Or was it you? I'm keeping my fingers crossed that my latest experiment will be a success. It was you, wasn't it? Come on, lemon pest. Back again. Back again, indeed. But we will leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will go and see Masako and get our next assignment. And hopefully, it's going to be a good one. And I think it will be, given our new toy in our head. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>